Hey guys, welcome to another uh, Redstone video. Today I'm going to talk about um, minecarts and how you can use them as timers, basically. So um, I went ahead and set this one up already, and it's using the two new tracks. There's the switch track here, and the um, booster tracks. Then it goes down. Uh, let's see, hold on. There's a booster track there, booster track there. So basically, the point of what this is, is it will loop the dispenser. And yes, there's other ways to do it besides minecarts. But, for example, every time it hits that switch, it'll shoot the dispenser here. And this will infinitely go until I hit this switch. And the reason is, um, the switch is hooked up to these two boosters here, which initially send it into the loop, which will infinitely keep going because of the boosters. And when you turn the booster off, it actually acts as a brake and it stops the cart. So um, this is the first one I wanted to show you. And I made a couple more over here. Oops. Okay, here's another one. Um, that one fires kind of slow. If you want it to fire faster, you just add more switches. Look, let's wait for it to get going first. Might need another booster there. That one will fire faster, and it's just hooked up to more switches in the circuit. Um, then you come over here, and there's another kind, where instead of a loop, it actually loops back on itself. And it works because the minecart tracks kind of glitch out. Um, there's no switches on this one yet, but you can add switches to it. But the way this one works is the minecart kind of glitches back and forth onto the track, and uh, that's useful for making like U-turns and, and stuff like that for your, your minecarts. But this is another timer, like another time switch. Um, another thing you can do is if you hook these up, uh, let's see, to a repeater, which I have here, these things. Oops. If you hook them up to those, there we go then you can actually activate these little down booster parts at different times and make the timer different amounts of time and all that. But, um, get rid of this real quick. Oh, um, something else important to mention is the reason that you have to dig two down and do the little booster like that is because uh, if a minecart is on just a flat booster and you turn it on, it doesn't actually go anywhere. But since the gravity is trying to pull it down to begin with, but it stops because of the track. When you turn the booster on, it'll actually send it uh, that direction. So that's why you do the little tracks like that. But uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and give you an overview of the repeater circuit. Um, this can be used for note blocks, for dispensers, for whatever. But um, I'll try to go into the mine carts themselves and tracks and switches and stuff in another video. But I just wanted to share this in case you didn't know that you could do it. Um, you can look up on the Minecraft wiki how to make the booster tracks and the switch tracks. But um, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll try to put up this video and a couple more videos. So go ahead and subscribe or view my channel or do whatever, and find all the videos I'll post. Anyway, see ya.